please help us. Lord, please help us. Lord, as the prayer rain program, oh Lord, goes on today, help us to stay focused. Help us to pay attention to you and you alone, to your word, to your ministration. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let us pray and say, Father, do you know it is possible that you look up to Jesus? Praise the name of the Lord. But somehow, their skills, praise the name of the Lord, that will not allow you to see the crown, the joy clearly. You're going to pray and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we have gathered unto you today for the prayer rain program, every scale, blocking our eyes, covering our vision of you. Father, Lord, consume them by your fire. Destroy them, O oh Lord. Remove every veil. Remove every scale from our eyes. Father, let us see you this morning and see you clearly. Let us hear you this morning and hear you clearly. Let us believe you this morning from the bottom of our heart. The grace to obey you release unto us. The grace to see you Lord release unto us the grace to hear you clearly release unto us tear the scales consume oh Lord the veils covering our vision of you in the name of Jesus thank you my Lord and my God for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed let us commit the vessel that the Lord has prepared to use to bless us this morning Pastor Peter Olawale we are going to pray and say, Father, you make your ministers flames of fire as you use your son this morning. Ah, let him be a flame of fire in your hand this morning. Pray in the name of Jesus. Extend that prayer even to the choir because they also are ministers. Ah, as your son Pastor Peter Olawale, as your own Lord children, the choir, as they minister unto you. Ah, as they minister unto your children. Make them flames of fire. Let them minister with fire. Let your anointing come upon your son. In the name of Jesus, let your power flow. Let your unction be released. Let your grace come on your son and your servant. In the name of Jesus, Father, through the ministration of your son, Pastor Peter Olawale, through the ministration of the choir, let let lives and souls be saved. Let there be transformation. Let there be deliverance. Let your help come. In the name of Jesus, Father, meet us at the point of our needs. Let gifts, let presents be distributed. As the administration goes on today, instant miracle, instant miracle, instant miracles, instant signs, instant wonders. Father, perform in the midst of us, for you are strong and you are mighty in the midst of us. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. At this time, we are going to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate the Lord God Almighty for his goodness, for bringing us into this house, for the prayer rain program of today, for all that the Lord has packaged for us. Indeed, the Lord is set to bless us. The Lord is set to help us. The Lord is set to help us. Thank the Lord for his help. Thank the Lord for his heart. If the Lord does not help a man, who can help that man? If the Lord does not change the situation of a man, who can change it? Ah, thank the Lord for his help. For his help is locating us today. This help, divine help, is locating us today. This very month, the 11th hour miracle, the 11th month miracle, locates us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord and my God. Be thou exalted, be glorified. We declare this meeting open, Lord, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Forever be glorified. For in Jesus' 
mighty name we have prayed with thanksgiving amen let somebody shout hallelujah let somebody shout hallelujah let somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah come on put your hands together somebody praise the lord you know putting your hands together don't let god beg you to put your hands together Revolution. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are Lord, your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, Hallelujah. I lift my voice and say, Jesus, you are Lord, you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody from within you say, Jesus.
song I received a test message I think from a sister all the way from um, I think Holland is it Holland and one of the European missions he said pastor have you taken notice that kingdoms uh, come and go. Great men had lived and died. So even those who died yesterday are very referred to them as late this, late that. But Jesus has left. Say so over 2000, 2,000 years ago. He said, not even by mistake. Has anybody referred to Jesus as late Jesus? Ah. We are, don't worry, we are going to sing that song again. And until we sweat like our brother, we are not living here. 
I met somebody in Antwerp, that is in Belgium, an Iranian. The way God is using them today to win Iranian people, people from Iran, citizens of Iran, but a lot in Europe. When she told me, said, I mean, the wife, so anytime I read our book, when you know their own book, say, I am condemned. But any time I pick the Bible, you know, we are not allowed at all, but somehow, say, immediately I open the Bible, I am consoled. Say, he said, one piece we just sent her that is not man made. Recently, I told people, I said, no argument about either Jesus is this or that. Say, just point to me. Any nation. Where Jesus is not worshipped and they have peace. Just, just tell me one. Where Jesus has been discarded, abandoned, hated, they don't want to hear about Jesus and they are living in peace. Either it's in a nation or in a particular country. Then you are will you not telling me that Jesus is not the prince of peace. Let's sing that song, bro, with all our heart. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I never see any God like you. Hey, somebody God like I can you. tell. I never see any God like you. 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 I never see on the prayer ring platform. We are having prayer ring life now, all right? And let me tell you a secret. Anytime we meet together physically, God will do more. More than what he does online. Because the anointing is closer. <laughs> Now, because we are going to sing that song again. Let me read one or two testimonies. Recently, we are not talking about yesterday, years, months ago, recently. I have been battling with the spirit of stagnation for many years. I run a nursery and primary school here in Lagos. For more than 11 years, it was like moving around the circles. Children coming and going to the point where I began to contemplate closing down. One morning on this altar, the referring to prayer, the word of the Lord came that there was a proprietress here contemplating closing down her stool. But God said it's coming through for her. She said, she said I claim that prophecy. Fearfully, brethren, that was a major sudden shift. I can't explain. From factually empty classes, parents began to troop in to register their children from nowhere. Now listen, now listen. All, all our classes are fit beyond capacity. We had to buy emergency furniture because we ran out of furniture. Now the situation is even getting more fearful because people are still coming but no more space. Furniture all exhorted. We even started a college beyond expectation. 
I am afraid of this girl. I'm now praying to God to help me manage the crowd. <laughs> hey! Let's have a day! Do you know? Till I'm telling you now, till now, I've never set the eyes upon that woman. We've not met. I don't even know the location of that school. But God knew what she was passing through. Let's sing that song again. Let's sing that song. Let's sing that song. I never see any God like you. Hey, I never see any. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just a few days ago, Yoko Tola from Nigeria testifies. Listen to her testimony. In the middle of May, my brother fell sick and was rushed to the hospital. He was diagnosed of having a mask in his intestine in a private hospital. So we took him to the general hospital at what the same prognosis. So both private now, and they confirm there's a mask in his interest. He was admitted in his, on a Saturday and was op operated upon on Monday. Then we lifted our case up on prayer room. Before the surgery on Monday, the doctor re-examined him and they could not find the mask again. <laughs> now, listen, listen. He was the child that same day. A private hospital said, we see, okay, let's reconfirm it in a general hospital. The same thing. So on Saturday, we will put you on bed. By Monday, we will do the surgery operation. But they re examined him. That is what they normally do. They re examined the gate to know the. They could not trace it. I mean. <laughs> Let's sing that song. I never. I never see any girl like you. Hey, I never see somebody. That God is dealing with our career, not only that God is dealing with our body and healing us, he's also dealing with marriages. Only one year missing from United Kingdom testifies. God puts an end to the pain and bitterness I went through for 28 years in my marriage and gives me joy that beyond my expectations. My husband and I are now like newly wedded couple. If he has sat down and told you the details, 
28 years. God gave <laughs> to God be that glory to the any iota of doubt in the heart of men. Daddy God, you are real. Marvelous. You are wonderful. You are glorious. You are alive. Take all glory. Take all honor. Take all adoration. Thank you for being there all the time. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the enablement. Thank you for keeping us for the past 10 months. Thank you for bringing us to the 11th month. Take all glory. Take all honor. We sang that song repeatedly because truly, there's no one like you. There is no one like you. This our Lord, let it be proved beyond measure. That you are alive. Showcase your supremacy. Demonstrate your almightiness. Meet all our needs today. Set us free. Give us rest. The miracle of 11th hour released into our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Say amen louder. Let someone shout hallelujah. God bless you, choir. God bless you. Be seated, please. John chapter 5. Reading from verse 5 through verse 9. John chapter 5. From verse 5 to 9. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity that and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie, I knew that he had been now a long time in that case. He said unto him, Will thou be made old? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But why I'm coming, another step down before me. Verse 8 and 9. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. On the same day was the Sabbath. The nature of 11th hour. The nature of 11th hour will be the message. Or we call it the characteristics of 11th hour. They seem to be the moment when all hopes 
are lost. When one thinks nothing could happen again, when it has been erroneously, and you the word erroneously, because that's how man thinks, when it has been erroneously been set in the heart of that fellow, that way, it is now too late. And that is the case of this man. He had been there for 38 years of no solution. If he was just 30 years old, when he got there, now he should be 68 years old. If he was about 50 years when he got there, by now it should be about 88 years old. Many people met him there and left. Yet, he was still struggling to have his problem solved. When many people could help him solve, that the matter of this fellow has no solution. They left him. I believe they spoke to their heart. They don't want to render help where there will be no solution any longer. The problem of this one is conk. If from the master Jesus knew he had been there for a long time without any solution at all. I'm trusting God for somebody here today. You have told yourself 10 months had gone. What could happen again these two months that are remaining? The same God who brought a man from the prison in the morning called Joseph. And before that man left in the evening, he became the prime minister. This same God will attend to you. Yeah. Let God hear your amen louder. There's no doubt about having a particular reason to thank God about in any situation we are passing through. In the case of this man, to me, someone made use of something to preserve his life. Uh, by God's grace, we've been there at the spot where this man it is the heart of Jerusalem. Ah, I had never been to Jerusalem during winter, but the toll of the winter here could be is extremely tough just because of the mountainous situation of the environment. I have been there when it was about to be hot. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. They just told me, they told her rather, that, that the hot weather had not actually started. I mean, their kind of hotness, you don't see any cold something to breathe in. You need to see how we, we run into our buses and so on and so forth. Even the sand is hot. So combination of hotness, extreme hot situation, an extreme cold situation, and this man was outside there for 38 years, and he's still alive. Somebody kept his life. Because when never God knows, he will come for you, that he will, you will still have the answer to your prayer. He has a way of preserving your life. That you are alive today simply because you're on the line for testimonies. And in Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 to 23, Lamentation 3, 22 to 23, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. And the verse 23 says, they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. When he has said that we help you, be expecting him. When he has said we when you call me, I will answer you. Trust him. 
So no matter the bombardment and panel beating and hammering and sistering, no matter all hotness and whatever you have been passing through, once he has spoken, wait for him. And you are going to see. These three agents that we have just mentioned, they have a way of preserving a life. And that what has been preserving our life right from January to date. They are called mercy. They are called compassion. They are called faithfulness. So it's mercy, it's compassion, it's faithfulness. According to that lamentation, chapter uh, 3, verse 22. And in lamentation 3, 32, lamentation chapter 3, verse 32, say, but though he cause grief, yet he will have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. So, Grief, all kind of things. I was speaking to somebody, when was that? I said, not only in Nigeria, that people are passing through a lot. It's all over the world. All over the world. They called me from UK, they called me from United States, they called me from all, everywhere. They said, things are getting tougher. Tougher. So to say, so, but he has a way of preserving his own people with so mercy. In Ezekiel 16, verse 4 to 6, Ezekiel 16, 4 to 6, as for your nativity, on the day you were born, your knife and call were not caught. Now, while you washed in water to cleanse you, you were not raw with salt to wrap you in sweating clothes. No, I pity you to do anything for you. To have compassion on you, but when you are, but you are thrown out into the open pit, when you yourself were looking on the day you were born, God is referring to the time you came into this world. What happened that day? Nobody pitied you. That's why you cry. Ah, yeah, because you don't see any help coming from anywhere. But look at verse six. And uh, when I passed by you, and I saw you struggling in your own blood. I said to you in your blood, leave. I said to you, leave. God has commanded life into your life. The environment said, die. The environment, they say, die. God said, leave. The environment has said, be destroyed. God is saying, be kept alive. The environment are saying, be cut down. God is saying, be lifted up. Yeah. The environment are saying, be covered with darkness. God said, let there be light. Yeah. I'm trusting God for somebody here today. Whatever is contrary to what the Lord has meant for you, we leave to you alone. Yeah. In Micah chapter 7, verse 19. Micah chapter 7, verse 19. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities. And that will cast all their sin into the dead of the sea. That is God in action. Now, sometimes ago I received this message I'm about to read from my, one of my biological children one of my biological daughters, I read, what an ironing of life that, do you know that the only tree a monkey cannot climb is the banana tree. And paradoxically, banana is what monkey likes the most. This means that every time banana is found in the heart of a monkey, it is mostly likely a gift. He said, hence the phrase, who does monkey banana? <laughs> Have you heard that? Why you that? No, that one. <laughs> in the journey of life, my daughter continues, in the journey of life, there are things you like, but cannot, but can never be achieved unless you are giving. He said, therefore, it's not of him that will it, 
Now of him that runneth, but God who shows mercy. It is a paradox. Banana is the best food of the man of monkey, but it's only banana tree. The monkey cannot clamp. No matter how many monkeys around your environment, plant banana there, they won't be able. And banana is what? So when you see banana in the heart of monkey, who does monkey banana? This place is saying that to have kept alive today is not by your own name. That I'm standing before today is not by my own make. It is the law that shows mercy. The law that shows mercy. Now, let's go back to that story of this man. There are three groups of people from the story. And these three groups of people, one after the other, we want to iron something out and we want to pray concerning them. Number one, those who have been watching the time of someone else. You remember, the Bible says, time and chance happen to them all. Anytime you are celebrating, it's your time. Anytime you are being promoted, it's your time. When you give testimony, it's your time. This man had been there for 38 years. Months after month, he had been watching the time of others. Yet, his own time never came. So they have been watching others being celebrated. Being celebrated. Excuse me. By the special grace of God, as the Lord lives and his spirit lives, you will be celebrated too. In John chapter 2, Verse 1 to 2, you see marriage there in Canaan or Galilee. Perhaps there are parents here. Either you are here physically and you watch online. You celebrated others. Just because, because there are children that have given marriage or their son are marrying, you rejoice with them, you dance with them. And excuse me, it is good to celebrate others, but the best thing is to be celebrated. I mean, I've watched people and I rejoice with them when they march their daughter into the altar. Ha! The day I, I hug my daughter and I'm marching to the altar, you need to see my heart that day. Oh God, it's sweet, man. <laughs> and we were marching on, they were making that prelude, and people are clapping their hands. I now know how those who have been, who have been celebrating we are feeling. As you are living here today, it is your time to experience celebration. As a lady here, you've been watching others be married. Ah, you have been giving them a round of applause. You have been celebrating them. You have been attending their reception and so on and so forth. Perhaps you have even been one of those people at their best made and so on and so, and so forth. But here you are. At this age, still under the roof of your father. I have a good news for you. The time has come for you also to be celebrated. <laughs> I, I can't hear your amen louder. <laughs> Many don't know what celebration is all about. Could it be a cause? Could it be whatever? Even when they do good. For example, in Nesta chapter 2, you see how the king there discovered that somebody rescued him from being assassinated. And uh, what I done for this man who rescued me? Those assassins had been arrested. They had been killed. The entire nation celebrated that the Lord rescued the king from being assassinated. <laughs> somehow the king called the people can you tell me what had been done to Mordecai that rescued the king look at verse 3 
And the king said, what honor? I'm reading from Esther chapter 6, verse 3 now. You can write verse 2 to 12. You see the whole story there. 2 to 12, you see the whole story. But verse 3 says, and the king said, what honor and dignity have been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servant that ministered of him, there is nothing. There's a spirit of nothing. There is nothing done. If you have been tormented with the spirit of nothing, the Lord will put a hand to it today. Yeah. It is your time to be noted. Yeah. Your time to be celebrated. Yeah. Your time to be remembered. Yeah. I can't hear your amen loud yeah. That is category number one. Those who are watching not have been celebrated. They are watching the days of others. There are second group of people, those who have been celebrating others, but never been separated, celebrated. The very first one, they are watching others. Others have been joined, others have been celebrated. Imagine this man, right there before his eyes, he saw the lame. And by that time, by the time the lame entered into that particular river, Suddenly he jumps up. Hey! The man will say, Thank God for this one. Oh, your own problem has been solved. Hey, one day it might be my turn. We've been watching others, celebrating others. I believe there could be somebody by his side. Oh, we are right there communicating. And the water bro, 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 bro. And that one jumped inside first. And the problem goes up. I believe that don't came out sick. He said, I, I rejoice with you. I rejoice with you. Pray for me also. Joseph celebrated the man that was sentenced by Pharaoh. And with time the man was going, Joseph told him, remember me. Oh. But for two years, he could not, I mean, I don't, I don't know why you forget something like that, a man like that. For two years, somebody, ah, ah. <laughs> let me speak into your life. All your benefactors who had forgotten you, we remember you today. <laughs> I, I can't hear your amen louder. <laughs> they will remember you today. Exodus chapter 28, verse 2. Exodus 28, 2. Because your time of celebration has finally come. God spoke to Moses. And thou shalt make holy garment for Aaron, thy brother. When they put on, a job for glory and for beauty. Do you know you are living here without garment? You, you, may, you may not see it physically. There's always a garment of glory and beauty. God has it in his kingdom. So wherever you go, you will be faithful. You will see glory. You will experience beauty. I can't hear your amen louder. And glory is the start opposite of shame. In other words, from this moment onward, whatever be giving you shame will be removed from your life. Yeah. I've told you here that the very first time I was to travel to, I mean, outside the country and outside Africa here, I don't want to mention the name of the nation. And the people heard where I was going to, they gave me sound education, the knowledge of that place. Ah, they throw that place, whatever, the way, whatever, how they handle you, don't bother. That is their life. Oh. They don't see any other human being as human being. So, no matter the nature of the treatment you are going to be given there. So, they prepare me to expect the worst reception. And I landed there in the international airport, very beautiful airport. And I'm saying that one 
in the real sense of it. I'm telling you the truth. By God. And I was waiting for that particular reception. I got to the immigration something you know, they welcome me. Oh, you are welcome to our city. I mean, to our nation and so on and so forth. I mean, we smile. I mean, they are you going to respond to them? You are welcome. I entered as if I was going to abandon my the, the state I know. And I spent 14 solid days there in that nation. Was it 14? Around 14 or so. And I deliberately travel with their, all their means of transportation. Their tube, their tram, their flight, their train. Throughout. It's a beautiful nation. And inside the train, you know, how we, I, I don't know whether you pack your luggage like that. Almost about three luggages and we got to carry it. Can I help you to carry it? Can I help you to carry it? Inside the train, they will help me. I'm white people. I, I begin to wonder, this is not the picture of the people they painted. Coming back to Nigeria, I was already in their flight to take me to Nigeria when I was returning. And I now begin to ruminate about all the reception that I've been receiving right from day one to today. But these people are good. These people are nice. These people are hospitable. These people are this. this. I was just contemplating. And God spoke to me. Hey, you've not discovered that I've removed the mark of Israel from your life. And I've put, I've put on you the mark of the garment of love. Wherever you go, you must be loved. <laughs> so I know I'm not... This passage I've just read to you, that Exodus 28 is real. There's a garment of honor, that garment of glory, that's a garment of beauty. So if you are hated, check your garment. If you are not cherished, check your garment. If you have been forgotten, check your garment. And cry to God, let the garment of glory and beauty be released upon my life. Cover me with it. And you are going to discover your story will change. He repeated the same thing in Exodus chapter 28, verse 40. And for Aaron's sons, thou shalt make coats, and thou shalt make them gardens and bonnets. Thou shalt thou make for them for glory and for beauty. In, next, in Genesis chapter 18, verse 14, Genesis 18, 14, he said anything too hard for the Lord. At the appointed time will I return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. That's a particular time of life. That's a particular time of celebration. That's a particular time of rejoicing. That's a particular time when people will come to celebrate you. Yeah. Then, may I ask you a question? When is that time? Now. I can't hear you. Now. I can't hear you. And mark my words, before the next prayer in life, you will understand the true meaning of being celebrated. Amen. Say amen louder. Amen. Say amen louder. Amen. Say amen louder. Amen. So we have the first group visited. We have the fourth group of people. Those who have been watching the time of others for their own time never come. We see the second set of people there. They have been, they have been celebrating others, but they have never been celebrated. The third group of people, they are those who have been waiting. This man has been waiting. And he waited for how long? 38 years. Ha! Hmm. Ah, in Job 14, 14, in Job 14, 14, the Bible says, all the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. And I have a feeling within me, the day of your appointed time has arrived. Because 
according to Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6. Hebrew 11 6. God rewards the diligent seekers. There the Bible says, and that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And by the time you consider Psalm 102 verse 13, Psalm 102 verse 13, a minute or so ago I asked you, when is that time? You said now. You are saying the truth. It's not just a fact and figure. It's not just a matter of feeling within you. You are saying the truth that is having its base in the word of God. Because in Psalm 102 verse 13, it says, Thou shalt arise. I have mercy upon Zion for the time to faith for her. Yea, the set time is come. And that's why we are here. To call upon the one who answers prayers. I'm so excited today as ever because we are serving a living God who hears prayers and answers prayers. In the prayer room, we have we fall in love with a particular song that if there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. So if we have, God can have somebody here today to pray. That God to answer by your side. And he's going to answer you. If you believe that today is your appointed time, stand on your feet right away. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. But before we pray, please, there is this God who knows the heart of everyone. I have discovered the secret of knocking. Secret of knocking. Because we are about to pray. And who you are to go will determine what will happen to your prayers and how you pray. I have three groups of people in my house. The two groups had gone, only one remaining. The three group then happened to be our housemate, my children, and my wife. The only one remaining with Noah is my wife. All other are gone, they've married and so on and so forth. They are already settled on their own. It's only my wife now. Let me leave something for another day. So if you are fighting your wife, you are fighting your husband now, you better think away. When all that thing had gone, when all that had gone, it's two of you that will remain. Anytime my housemaid knocks, he don't very faintly. You need to listen very well before you know that someone is knocking. And my finally I say, yes. With that, later on, I don't even say with that any longer because I know he's knocking. Oh, somebody is waiting, sir. He says, so and see it. Oh, it's okay. I'm coming. That's the end of the story. I try to do everything. House, uh, housemate is housemate. Hey, when any of my children is knocking, oh God. Ba, 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 daddy, open. At time, we were shocked. Why are you knocking like that? And then I need some money for the child card. That's why I corrected them. I started, it doesn't change. It's our daddy. Are you a, are you a child or housemaid? No, I mean, you don't need to answer me. When the house girl knocks faintly, when the uh, my, any of my children knock banging the door, daddy open. Hey, my wife, is another scenario. I will hear bo, bo, bo. 
And my wife would say, who closed this door? I mean, and when I open, why do you close the door? I mean, who, I mean, so ask yourself a question. Before the Almighty God, who am I? Am I one of his children or not? Am I his wife or not? Because who you are to go will determine the knock. How you do the knock. We are about to pray now. And prayer means knocking. Knocking. The Bible says, if we do not have condemnation in the heart, we have a glory or something. And that's the reason I want to give opportunity to you before we begin to knock. To make sure you are a child of God. To make sure you are his wife. By surrendering your life to him, immediately you surrender to your life to him, you are born again. And you'll be one of his children. So let me give you that opportunity. Lift up your hand wherever you are. If you are here, you want to surrender your life to Jesus, just raise up your hand. I want to pray for you straight ahead. Straight ahead. Say, Lord, save me today. I want to be one of your children. So you begin to knock the way you ought to. Wherever you are, you want to surrender your life to him, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift it up. Lift it up. And if you are watching online too, you can lift up your hand. Though we can't see you physically, but the Lord Jesus Christ sees you wherever you are. Let us pray. Father, the matter of salvation is crucial. And for all that are here today, yet to be saved, from your throne of grace, Daddy, please save their souls. Yeah. Let your blood cleanse their sins away. Yeah. Let their names be written in the book of life. Yeah. We extend the same prayer to those watching online. Please, Daddy, save their souls. Yeah. Word they are sent with your blood Amen. and have their name written Amen. in the book of life. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Those online, the contact detail will be displayed on the screen immediately after the program. Make sure you call the pastor. God bless you. And if you have been given a card here, please, make sure you fill the card. Um, there are, there are some hands up there, please fill the card. If you're raising up your hand and uh, the card will not be given to you, please lift off your hand and the card will be given to you. Oh, to God be the glory, honor, and adoration. Thank you, Father. Ha! Let the children of God shout hallelujah. Let the wife of Jesus Christ shout hallelujah. There is confidence in belonging to him. And that's why we want to launch into the realm of the spirit. I believe with this man, I've been taken to where he could pray. He won't spend that, that number of years waiting for his miracles. Close your eyes. Loud and clear. Say, Father, I am your son. I am your daughter. I am your child. Attend to me today. Pray that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. And begin to tell the Lord. Tell the Lord now what is that particular situation. Mention it, mention it, mention it. Attend to me now. I am your child. Let God hear your voice. Let him 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 hear your voice. I'm your son. I'm your daughter. I am your child. Attend to me. I need the divine attention right now concerning the situation of my life. Pray, pray, pray. There's a prayer in life where God answers prayers like no more business. Attend to me, Lord. Attend to me, Lord. 
Attend to me, Lord. Attend to me, Lord. Matereka tetaya. Yeko Roma neka sataye. Leka reka lara pakone kesanda. Tarekete tere papore. Yeleke reka lara kosonta ya. Akaremo babo. Pereka lako to tereka sataya. Yekara. Attend to me. Attend to me. Attend to me. Pray, 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 pray. What is the situation? Oh, yes, Lord. How long it has been there? Attend to me, O oh Lord. Attend to me. Pray that prayer. Pray with all your heart. Pray with all your soul. Pray with all your spirit. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. The Lord is here. Right now. Right now. Pray, 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 pray. Matereka satavo. Shalareke tetere baboro. It's here right now. It's here right now. It's here right now. Cry to him, cry to him. You are his son, you are his daughter. He's standing by your side right now to attend to you. Ready to do whatever you ask him to do. He said, ask. And you will receive. He said, see, you will find. He said, no, the door is open. Cry to him right away. He answers prayers. He answers prayers. He answers prayers. He answers prayers. Call upon him right now. This is your day. This is your hour. This is your season. This is the time the Lord has decided to have mercy upon you, Desion. The man has been watching others, has been watching their time. Finally, his own time came. They have been watching others being celebrated. Finally, his own celebration came. And imagine how the other will begin to clap their hands in applause for this man that has been there for years. Hey, your miracle will be noted. Your miracle will be known to all. And they will begin to thank the Lord on your behalf. Cry to him, Lord. Never, never allow any deposits your life to tell you the time has gone. The curtain has not yet been drawn. The Lord is on the throne to show you mercy. He has kept you to this moment because he has a purpose for your life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please join your hand with your neighbor left and right and make sure it went round. You are going to pray with all your heart with that, for that fellow. Say, Father, Father in, this in this 11th hour, whatever is the need, whatever is the need of, my neighbor, of my neighbor, in the name of Jesus, answer! Pray, 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 pray. Matere ka keke dava. Breka la roko sotoreo. Pale ke la karaba. Oh yes, Lord. Let the need be met here today. Let the meet the here today as we join our hands together as one. Almighty God, meet our needs, meet our needs, meet our needs. Let all needs be met in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lift up your hands now. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah, the
Holy Spirit, morph in the midst of your people and do in their life now what no man can do. Let your power flow. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let your power flow now. Let your power flow. Talk this your children on your own. Just magnify your name. Materika landra kasanta raba kosonto yivo. Mama marika tatara ba kosonto reke la raba pronege. Let the living water flow by my soul. Let your Holy Spirit control every set of reason. Yes, Lord. Someone needs your touch. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Someone needs your touch. Now. Please, Holy Spirit, touch that fellow. Touch that fellow. Let there be deliverance. Let there be healings. Let there be breakthrough. Let your fire fall, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Still lift up your, lift up your hands, please. You've been waiting for the past 10 months. And perhaps you are still on the waiting stage. By the mandate of heaven, through the power in the name of Jesus, and by the instrumentality of the power of the Holy Spirit, your waitings are over. In the name of Jesus, You've been believing, you keep on trusting for something. Until now, you kept on believing. That what you call the moment of reality, when 
what you are believing the love for will suddenly appear. Receive it now. 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 In our time, we've been hearing and seeing the testimony of others. Evidences of the supremacy of the Almighty. Things that prove that there is there's somebody somewhere who can do what no man can do. You've been listening to testimony. You've been watching people testifying. Within 24 hours, it is your own turn. 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 It is your turn. Somebody called me from England yesterday, just after the prayer. There's somebody from somewhere, I mean from Mongolia, I've been calling. But when she could not get through, she had to call her, please, you have pastor's number. I have a testimony. I couldn't believe it. The son of this fellow drove in the United States of America and has that gent, a writer. But God sustained his life without driver license. I mean, <laughs> that is J number one. Driving in America without driver license. And you now had that stent again. Then he was arrested. And then, what do we call it now? Sued to court. The day of appearance, he refused to go. And they have been chasing him. I mean, finally, on Monday, last Monday, he just called the mother. I don't know what will happen. I will appear there. The mother says she opened to the platform of prayer ring and said, Lord, all what we need in our family now is your mercy. And the man got there, appeared, and the judge said, we dismiss, we dismiss your case. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't, um, be, I couldn't, he, I mean, if you dare drive again without driver lances, if you dare run away from, I mean, in America, that's a God of mercy. The Lord will have mercy on your family. We have mercy on your children. We have mercy on your husband. We have mercy on your wife. We have mercy on your destiny. We have mercy on your career. The Lord will show you mercy. And this God, who has kept you alive till today, we appear into your life to give you what you have been waiting for. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say amen louder. Say amen louder. Um, in Jesus' name. You may be seated. Surprisingly, we have only one more for this year. Am I right? Ah, so the year had gone. You know, anytime I say, oh, this year is very fast, oh, like a time like this, God will, spoke to, God will speak to me and say, to you it's fast because you are not in trouble. A day can be like a year. We are meeting, if the Lord tarries, first Wednesday in December. And the theme that day, the message that day will be titled, No Carry Over. Yeah. Invite your friends, 
Those who are far away, like Abra, send them the link. The Lord is about to do something. Has somebody been blessed today? Let that fellow stand and shout, another hallelujah. Let somebody praise the Lord. If the Lord has met you here today, lift up your voice and shout a better hallelujah. Amen. I want you to stretch out your hands towards daddy and begin to pray that the Lord will bless him. And even as he has watered us, the Lord will water him the more in the name of the Lord Jesus. That the great testimonies that are coming out of his ministries is just the beginning of things in the name of the Lord Jesus. That the Lord will use him more and more to the extent that he will be shocked. He will be surprised at the extent at which the Lord has lifted and elevated him. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Pray that the peace of God will surround him as the mountains surround Jerusalem. In the name of the Lord Jesus. He will never have a better yesterday because he will continue to ascend and ascend. For the word of the Lord says that the path of the just is like a shining light that shines more and more unto the perfect day. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Pray that the grace will attend to him in greater dimensions. Mercy in greater dimensions. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And the name of our God be glorified. Thank you daddy. It is done sir. In Jesus mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. And the people said, I leave in amen. Hallelujah. Well, it is good to be back home. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to particularly appreciate Daddy for coming today. We want to also appreciate all the pastors that are in our midst and people that have come from other congregations in order to join with this meeting today. Now, if you're a pastor in this house, please, um, when you're coming next, indicate because the space will be preserved for you in the front. The Lord bless you. It is time for you to bring out a, an offering that is worthy of the Lord and begin to give an offering unto the Lord. I want you to lift up your offerings over your head and I say, and say to the Lord, Daddy, I will testify concerning to this prayers in the name of the Lord Jesus. I link my testimony with my offering. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I will testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Over to you, choir. Fumilayo, set who are to bear 
Father, we thank you. The Lord said there is somebody here. I shall inform you. What is not enough is coming to become abundant. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Almighty and eternal God, we want to say thank you. Thank you for the grace to give. Please accept us. Please accept our offerings. Mingle together. Let us be unto you a sweet smell and serve a well-pleasing. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let him move your hand to cause your abundance to flow in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And that which we have linked our offerings to, Father, we will testify. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because you do not owe any man, we know that even as we have sown, we will reap. That your name might be glorified the more. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord bless you, Father. Father, we bless you. And the Lord bless you also. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Ah, and the people said, they leave in amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, we, well, we all know that this is the Good Shepherd's Pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. If you're fellowship with us for the first time, uh, anybody fellowship first time, can you wave your hands to us? We'll, we'll like to. Okay. Ah, God bless you, mommy. God bless you for coming. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we hope to see more and more of you in our midst. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And um, please let's endeavor to broadcast this program. Um, it is not an easy thing to get um, the continental um, the overseer the prayer, continental prayer coordinator to be in the midst of any congregation. Praise God. So we that are privileged to have him in our midst here, let us endeavor to broadcast it. The Lord will help us. Rise up to your feet and just thank the Lord for the opportunity to be in his presence this morning and give him the glory and say, Father, Lord, I thank you. To you be praised, to you be glory. I know that the heavens are open already. I know that the rain is beginning to fall, that your name might be glorified, that your name might be exalted in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Well, before I drop the mic, the five-hour non-stop prayer program is around the corner. Praise God. Hallelujah. And it's going to be taking place on the 18th of November, 2023. Um, but it has been elevated to a province program. Praise God. So it's going to take place at the province headquarters. I am sure that if you need the deliverance from, you can see um, Pastor Cyril and um, um, Pastor Felicia and members of the prayer department for those that need deliverance. And they will give you a deliverance from so that we can vet it um, before the time. The date is 18th of November taking place at the uh, TMC, the Master's Court in Lekki, Lagos. The Lord bless you as you come. Almighty and eternal God, we want to say thank you. Thank you because there is none that comes into your presence and remains the same. We thank you because as we leave this auditorium this morning, the glory of God shall be seen all over us. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. And that glory will speak on our behalf. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. When we arrive at the place of our work, it shall speak on our behalf. When we shall arrive at the point of our businesses, it shall speak on our behalf. When we shall arrive at the point of our vocation, it shall speak on our behalf. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Men will see us from today. They will know that we have contacted with the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. And the name of our God shall be greatly magnified. Thank you, Daddy, because it is done. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. I let your amen sound like thunder now. Hey, hey. Bless your grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name.